I'm Christy from Southern Nepal, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through one of the easiest weekend projects. It's going to cost you less than $20, take under an hour, and at the end, you'll have your very own custom job map. So let's get started. First up, you're going to need a door mat. You can find these at just about any hardware store or home store. We found ours at Bunnings Warehouse for just $5. Next, you're going to need the paint. I've tried out a few different options, but I found that the most durable and easy to use is Rust-Oleum Fleet Seal. If you're going to be selling the door mats or you want it to last a long time, I'd also recommend using a clear sealer before you take the stencil off. To hold your stencil in place, you're going to need some sewing pins and some painter's tape or masking tape. I use a really cheap pack that I use just for craft because they get really messy. We're going to use the Cricut to make the stencil. I bought a big sheet of cardboard from my local news agent, but you can also find these at craft stores or Kmart and just cut it down to size. If you head to the blog post in the video description, I've shared my full template so it's already cut, but I'm going to show you how I made it step by step just in case you want to make your own. First, you're going to want to open Design Space. If you're uploading a completed design, simply size it to fit and cut it out. But I'm going to walk you through how I made mine step by step. Once you have Design Space open, zoom out your page using the zoom tool on the bottom left corner. This gives you plenty of room to work out your design. Next, start placing your images and text. For my stencil, I split my door mat between two 12 by 12 inch pieces. The cut limit on the Cricut 12 by 12 inch mat is 11.5 inches by 11.5 inches. This means I had to make my design roughly 23 inches wide and 11.5 inches high. This way I could cut it into two pieces. When choosing your textile, make sure that your font isn't too thin so your paint doesn't bleed too much. The font I use for this design is called DK Lemon Yellow Sun which you can download at thefont.com. Once your design is finished, split it into two parts by highlighting each half and attaching it using the attach tool. Then take your second section and change the material colour to separate it onto a second mat. Now adjust the size of your design so it perfectly fits your door mat. Then it's time to cut! Once your stencil's cut, it's time to prep your mat. Because you're going to be spray painting, you want to work in a place where overspray doesn't really matter. If you're like me and don't have a spray booth, head outside to the grass and cover your surface with newspaper or a drop sheet to protect it. To hold my stencil in place, I used sewing pins and painter's tape to ensure that no parts of the mat were exposed where I didn't want paint. Be sure to pin down any centre pieces and make sure that your stencil is firmly in place. Now, make sure you don't make the mistake that I did. While I was pinning down my template, I actually cut it and pushed it closer together. So I took my perfectly spaced template and squished it together. So the words are kind of squished. But I guess I make the mistake so you don't have to. Once you're ready to spray paint, be sure to hold your can evenly and spray straight onto the mat. Spraying it at an angle will cause your stencil to bleed and you may end up with a paint splattered mess. So keep your hand as steady as possible. Also remember that you can always spray more, but you can't undo where you've sprayed too much. I did two coats to ensure my mat was fully covered. Once everything's sprayed, all you have to do is remove your stencil. You can wait until it's completely dry, or you can carefully take it off straight away if you're pressed for time and want to bring it inside to dry. Once it's dry, it's ready to use. And there you have it, a super simple weekend project. Now, you can see that my words are a little bit too squished together, so don't make the mistake that I did. But for the full post and templates, head to the link in the video description. Wondering how long it's gonna last? I'm gonna be updating the blog post over the next few months to let you know how it goes. But that's all from me for now. For more projects, be sure to visit southernreport.com or follow me on Instagram or Facebook at southernreport to see what I'm making today.